This is the XDM221DI. We're just going to run through the controls on the front panel. Uh, you've got four knobs. This is the main control knob, the larger one at the bottom that drives the, this screen. So we've got this digital interface and we can just rotate and select as we go around. So we're going to start off with the help menu, press to select. In here we've got the main setup functions for the machine so we can change the language. We can change some of the settings for plasma cutting. Right there, sorry. So we've got spare parts. So a machine tells you about the feed rolls. If I press it once, it takes me back to the beginning. So back into help, spare parts. I can do MIG torch, shows me the uh, parts of the MIG torch. Do a, a long press just step me back once so version is a version number factory reset just resets the machine back to factory settings bluetooth uh, turns on there will be an app available for the machine uh, a later date burn back setting for the uh, mig operation and here we can select the type of torch we're using on the machine so if i go into this uh, mig torch i've got a number of options with the mig torch um, so I've got four buttons, I've got with a, a digital display, uh, if I've just got the conventional torch then I would just click on that and that sets the machine for the type of torch I'm using. Uh, likewise I can go in there again, torch and look at TIG torch and there's a number of current roll options with the TIG torch, three button with a wheel remote or with a foot control. So again, I'm gonna go with a standard option at the three button, select that. So that's configured the machine ready for the type of torch we're gonna to use. So I can look at then the process selections, MIG Synergic, MIG Manual. The difference between these is in Synergic mode, the machine will preset itself based on the wire size and the material thickness you're using. In manual mode, you're gonna adjust it yourself totally manually, but Synergic is really the best way to go because it's quick and easy to do. So into Synergic, set the material type we've got. So we're gonna go with steel. What gas we're using, we're gonna use mixed gas. Wire diameter, we'll say 0.8. What sort of control we want? Uh, on the uh, machine, 2T, which is just press and hold the trigger, release at the end of the weld, 4T, uh, press once, release to start. When you get to the end of the weld, press and release again to stop. And then we've got the similar options if we were using the display torch, but we're gonna go with 2T, and then we just dial in the thickness of material we're gonna weld. So we say two millimeter there, and then that just takes us now to the welding screen ready to weld, all the parameters have been preset by the machine. Um, I can go back off that, I can step back once, and change the thickness. I can go right back to the beginning with a long press there and select a different process. So I can go into manual MIG, again options of type of switching I want, and then here in the manual operation, I've got adjustment here for the wire speed and adjustment here for the voltage. So these are totally independent and it's up to you to find the right settings to, uh, for your welding applications. That's so a completely manual setup. Let's do the long press. Let's have a look at TIG. TIG we can do through Manual or Synergic as well. Manual uh, allows you to adjust all the parameters. Auto set, it's like the Synergic MIG. Select our trigger type. Tungsten diameter we're using, 1.6. What material we're gonna weld? Well, let's say we're gonna weld some aluminium. And then again, I dial in the material thickness. 
and then the machine has set all the parameters automatically in the background to weld aluminium um, here. Now if I want to do this totally manually and have the ability to um, adjust everything myself, I go in TIG and go manual setup, uh, let's go 40 this time, AC again, we're going to do high frequency start, no pulse, and then here I've got the ability to adjust every single welding parameter. So pre-gas time, I get the flashing light, increase, decrease that, press again, move on to the next one, start current, slope up time, so I'm just going to adjust that by pressing, press again to deselect, welding current, let's go to 97, slope down time, and just it, you can see we've got the flashing red dot, press it again, the red dot's solid, back onto the final current there, so we'll increase that, and then here I've got my post gas time, like that, and round here then to my AC function, so AC frequency, I can adjust. So you can, you can see here, in manual mode, you can just adjust every single parameter, as opposed to the preset mode, uh, auto set, which is just a really quick way of arriving at some workable parameters based on the thickness of the material you're going to weld and the machine in the background has preset everything for you. So that's your TIG functions. And we can go back out of this. Uh, MMA, it's so fairly straightforward. Again, so DC, electrode type, electrode diameter, and what thickness I'm going to weld. Select on that, again, it brings up the, the, the welding screen. When I change processes, the machine is automatically switching the polarity, so I don't need to change the connections on the front of the machine at all. So I'll back out of that. Plasma. So this is the additional process with this 5-in-1 machine. Plasma cutting. I can do mesh cutting so for mesh and grid, uh, normal and gouging for, for creating uh, well prep or uh, back gouging plate. So if I say normal, again, what material I'm going to cut, Dif dial in the thickness. Now I've got an error here because I've no torch plugged in, so the machine's really smart. It detects I've not actually got my torch plugged in, but that's an uh, indication of how easy it is to set that we just dial in the thickness of the machine. Uh, presets everything for us. So that's all the sort of uh, processes um, easily set up. With if I just go back now to the home screen and go back to Synergic Meg example. So I'm in the welding screen. I've got a memory function here. So if this is a particular set of settings I use on a regular basis. If I press the memory button, I can actually select to save it to that memory. So I can recall that and I can use these memory functions for all the processes. So I can save MIG settings, TIG settings, plasma cutting settings, MMA settings, I can save into the memory and re recall them back. So back out to that, to the welding screen. Within the welding screen, we've got these additional buttons here, which allow us just to trim, so I can trim the voltage here if I'm not happy with the, the presetting, and likewise, I can trim inductance as well if I'm not happy with that setting. So it gives me the ability to adjust any settings once I'm into the, uh, the welding screen. So that's a quick overview of all the functions on, on this uh, XTM221DI.